If you are interested in buying, selling, investing, or relocating to somewhere in Boise or the Treasure Valley area, you're probably wondering what our markets have been doing. Well, I'm gonna go over quarter three with you right now, so stick around. Hi there, my name is Rebel Ann Mueller and I'm a realtor here in the Boise and Treasure Valley area with Better Homes and Gardens, 43 degrees north real estate. I moved here about 17 years ago with my family from Napa, California, not to be confused with Nampa, Idaho. Um, but now I'm lucky enough that I get to help others just like you do the exact same thing. If you are interested in relocating to the area and help um, being guided and educated through the process, feel free to reach out to me. That's my job, that is what I do, and I am happy to help you. Down below in the description of this video is a relocation guide. It is chock full of all the things you are gonna wanna know about relocating to the area. Also, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'd super appreciate it. Today, I am going over quarter three market reports, so let's dive in. Okay, so now we're checking out the Q3 market reports for Ada and Canyon counties. In the southwest corner of the state, you will find Ada County and Canyon County. Ada County is where Boise is, where that is in the number one spot right here, followed by Meridian, Garden City, Eagle, Star, and Cuna. Over in Canyon County in the light green, you will find Nampa in the number one spot, followed by Caldwell, Middleton, Greenleaf, Wilder, Parma, Notice, and Melba. Now we can take a look at the highest price home sold, which was found in Ada County for $4,480,000. And the lowest price home sold was $85,000. That was also found in Ada County, which is not typical. Usually that's in Canyon County. The most expensive area at the moment is still in Eagle, coming in at $890,000 as that median price point. And the most affordable area is in Wilder, coming in at $338,000 as the median price point, and that's in Canyon County. Most popular areas in Canyon County right now, number one is Northwest Meridian with 446 homes sold. Number two is CUNA with 318 homes sold. And number three is Eagle with 305 homes sold. Over in Canyon County, number one spot is South Nampa with 436 homes sold. Number two is Northeast Nampa with 311 homes sold. And number three is Southwest Caldwell with 289 homes sold. Total homes sold over in Ada County was 2,965. And that is down 25.6% compared to last year. And that is again, because we just don't have the inventory. If we had the inventory, that number would be up. Over in Canyon County was 1,697 homes, and that is down 9.64% compared to last year. COVID has a huge effect on the amount of homes that are being built and how quickly they are getting supplies so that they can complete them and get them sold. Days on market, average days on market is down by 51.61% and they have an average of 15 days on the market and same over in Canning County and that's down 54.55% compared to last year. Hottest segment of the market, resale over in Ada County starting in at with an average of $500,000, making it 42.15% of the market. And new builds are coming in at $500,000, making up 16.55% of the market. And resales over in Canning County are making up 29.97% of the market, and they're coming in between three and 400,000. And new builds between four and 500,000, making up 16.79% of the market. Median sold price. So the median sold price over in Ada County was $535,000. That is up 33.75%. For resale, it's $525,000, and that's up 34.79%. And new build is $556,301, and that's up 29.55%. Over in Canyon County now, we have $416,000 is the median sold price, and that's up 36%. Resale, $394,000, making up 39.72%. And new builds, $450,999, making up 37.21%. Keep in mind, when we're looking at this rate of appreciation here, average, according to the National Association of Realtors, 
The appreciation on average per year is about 4%. So our market is quite accelerated at these numbers that we're seeing. Sold prices in the last six months. The average sold price in Ada County, 624,000. That is up 35.28%. And over in Cannon County, $457,000, making up 36.49%, and that is up. You can see how this is adjusting here. And over here, it just seems to be climbing. Month supply of inventory. So in a buyer's market, we'd be somewhere around up here. In a balanced market, we're gonna have five to seven months of inventory. And in a seller's market, we're still going to be in this bracket right here. So resale over in Ada County, 1.2 months supply. New builds, 0.7 months. Canning County, 1.3 months supply. And in Canning County, excuse me, also in Canning County for new builds is 0.8 months supply. The amount of homes that are being sold before or during construction are 62% in Ada County and 57% over in Canning County. And this is a four year overview of how many homes have been sold over the months, or over the quarters, over the years, for the last five years. So you can see here, Q3, we sold 2,965 homes. Canning County, 1,697 homes. We went over these numbers in the beginning of this report. You can see here, Q3 of last year, we had the inventory that was right around um, after COVID. So we were able to get those things done, but you can see, We've had an increase in buyers and a decrease in supply. So we're not able to necessarily get those homes sold. That is it. Well, I hope you found that helpful um, to see where we have been. Nobody has a crystal ball. We're not exactly sure where we're headed. But before you head out, hit that subscribe button for me. And like I said, if you have questions about buying, selling, investing, or relocating to the area, I think you know who to call. I hope you have a great Friday and I will see you next week.